All right, today we're going to be welding the differential in my racing mower transaxle. Transaxles aren't really the best thing for, you know, racing mower, but I'm not in any sort of a class. This is just sort of my my play around mower. So, um so I got all the parts that we need out um out of the thing, out of the transaxle and degreased and washed and, and everything. So, um what I'm going to do is remove the uh at the end of the axle inside the differential, there's normally the spider gear with the uh with the splines and then it's held on with two circlips so we're going to remove the circlips by welding it I'm going to lay a bead of weld right in there but before I do that I'm going to grind off this hard faced coating or not coating but the uh, the hard finish um, just so that the weld penetrates better okay so you can see what I did there I mean there's hardly any material removed it's just taken off that hard finish and then you're ready to lay the, the weld down in that bead or the bead down in that in that corner Alright, so uh, here's the uh, finished product. I haven't cleaned it or anything yet. I just dunked it in some oil. Um, so that's why she's uh, chooching off the, uh, the smoke there, but we'll get her cleaned up and then I'll show you the finished product. Alright, so here's the finished product welded up. So just go ahead and do the same on the other side. I already did that, so now I got two, two of these guys done. Now we're ready to, uh, to weld the differential. Okay, so here's the part that's actually um, welding the differential. Here's the, oop, the differential casing, um, and we're going to do something similar to what we did before. We're going to grind off this face right here um, from these from the spider gears that pivot, and then we're going to grind off a little bit right here on the uh, I don't know whatever that shaft is that goes in the middle here. So if you can imagine how this goes together, it's like this, and we're going to be walling in there. And we're going to be doing the same thing to this side once we have the gear in. Um, so that we know how everything is supposed to line up. So we're going to weld one side all the way around and then we'll put it together and we'll weld the other side in the in the transmission. So the first step is to grind off this uh, this hard face here. So once we got all that uh, you know that hard facing ground off we're ready to position it onto the uh, that, that shaft in the differential and then uh, weld one, we'll, we'll tack weld it and then we'll weld all the way around one, one of these spider gears. Okay, so we got it tacked on there, now let's just go all the way around. Alright, so once you have the one side welded up, then you need to uh, position it into the differential into the case. Um, so obviously mine's all stripped and parts are over there. And then you're going to just tack weld right into that corner. And then you can pull it apart and weld it solid. Then you can just weld the rest of it solid. Okay, so there's my finished uh, welded differential spider gears. So now we're ready to clean this up and uh, start the assembly process. Okay, so um, once you have all your parts cleaned, you're ready to start assembling the transmission again. So there you can see the actual weld that's going to hold the uh, the torque of the uh, the axle. That's the part that's actually holding the um, the differential from turning. Don't be afraid to use large amounts of grease on the uh, the machine surfaces um, right here where the uh, actual differential is going to be riding. Let's go ahead and spread some grease in there. Then you can install the uh, main part of the differential here. And then you want to grease up the uh, slots for the axle. Now we're ready to take your axle shafts and slide them into And I can see the differential there. And I can see I can turn one sh one side, and both sides will spin. So it's locked. Don't forget these washers that go on either side of the uh, the axle shafts. This is where those washers go. Okay, so now is uh, a good time to put on your wheel seals. If you didn't do them earlier, um, slide them over the end of the axle into their grooves.
just like this. Now you just have the task of putting the rest of the uh, transmission gears in. Okay, so um, <clears throat> now the transmission's all put together. This is um, an MST 200 series transmission, so it actually has fact it comes factory with, uh, with an oil plug, and um, so that's pretty nice. Um, so once you have all this ready, you're ready to um, put a bead of silicone all the way around, and then you can slide your cases back or put your cases back together. Don't forget to seal around these uh, these two bolts here, these two bolt holes. Okay, so now that we got the silicone all the way around the around the uh, the cases here, I might have overdone it a little bit. But, you know, it's better than having it under the else. It'll lose out a little bit, but it won't damage anything if it gets caught. You know, as long as it's not inside the seals, it won't mess anything up. So um. Then you're ready to slide your top half back on. I greased the bearings in there, and uh, all the mating surfaces have been cleaned. Uh, I'm also going to grease this, um, the channel for the uh, for the axle, so it has that much more grease. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead. Other than that, you're ready to slide the top half back on. And then just start putting bolts in all the way around the. Uh, the perimeter. Just make sure that you do that after you get this uh, the seam pushed down. Once you got all the bolts all the way around the cylinder, or the cylinder, the uh, the transmission. Don't forget the two that go on the bottom, or in your case it might be one. But either way, they're somewhere about there on the transmission. Don't forget those. Next, take the ball and spring, and you can grease these if you want. They go into there. What I did was I greased the hole, and I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to get my spring, I'll just push it on down, then you can put the Allen screw back in. Now if you have a greased transmission, then um, you know, hopefully you already greased it, but this is an oil filled transmission, so you can't really fill the transmission with oil until after about an hour or so because you don't, wanna, you don't want the oil to mess up the, uh, the silicone sealant, so wait until the silicone is dry before you put the oil in. I'm just going to use an Allen wrench and just kind of push down on, on it from the inside. And as long as it's uh, got oil in the hole, it should slide right in. At this point, um, once you have the brakes all on and assembled, you're ready to put your pulley on. Now I had a three and a half on here, but I'm and that made the motor go 25 miles an hour with the six and a half I had up front. But um, I'm going to be downgrading or upgrading, depending upon which way you want to look at it to a pulley that gives me a speed of uh, about 15 because 25 is fun for the road but this is really what I use it for is more off-road kind of stuff and it just it with this small pulley it, it's the belt slipped a little bit when it got hot or wet and um, 25 miles an hour is kind of useless off-road so I'm going to be putting on a 15 mile an hour pulley and that'll that'll make it a better mower for off-roading um, so yeah once you have your new pulley on you can go ahead and put it back in your mower and um, you have a lock transaxle. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll have a video. Um, not exactly sure when, but it'll have it'll be a video with my 15 mile an hour pulley, lock differential, and uh, I'm going to redesign the clutch system because my current one doesn't work very well. And then you'll be able to see how it works off road. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.